Marcus Johnson was talking about Tim Floyd telling Lodrick Stewart he needed to shoot more. He has a career high 28 points in the game, but he only took 10 shots. They're very, very efficient, and he was just on, just on his game. And his teammates did a nice job continuing to get him the basketball, and Lodrick uh, picked up assists for his teammates. And not only shoot the ball, but he was very active defensively. He had some steals, but he converted into the hoop with some block shots. And this has been a terrific all-around basketball game. And Again, if you can get him to, you're not going to have career highs every night, but just to be aggressive, shoot the ball, and give you mid-double figures, it's going to make this SC team even more difficult to beat because of the great stymie, stifling defense they play. A little high-low from Njai to Cromwell, and Sean does not have the opportunity to finish, and Scott Rockers comes away with the basketball. Ryan Weatherell quickly up the floor. Marcus, you played at Ralph Miller Court when this place was really rocking. I mean, Ralph Miller, a great coach. Uh, every year it seemed like the Beavers were in the top 20 and so tough to beat in Corvallis. Yeah, they were. And uh, again, he lost to Oregon. That road trip also lost to Oregon State with Monty Shelton and Don Smith and George Ice King up there, Ricky Lee. I remember those guys because they, they put it on me for four years up here. They were all freshmen. I had to see him for the next four years, but uh, Ralph Miller had the 1-4 high offense. That was what he was known for. His teams ran to perfection. Tradition carried on by Jim Anderson, his assistant, who was later the head coach here, who coached Gary Payton. So what needs to happen to get back to that level? Because you have a power conference like the Pac-10, so difficult to move from the lower division to the upper division. Yeah, well, you just have to keep locating talent that fits into your system, much like uh, Dick Bennett started out doing it at Washington State. Tony Bennett is carrying on that that tradition. Because you're going to have, have a hard time, I mean, honestly, getting, uh, you know, McDonald's All-American with, with the state that your program's in now. But there are still some very good basketball players out there left. And USC is only going to get better. They not only have most of their talent coming back next year, but they're bringing in one of the top recruits in America in 6'5", O.J. Mayo from Huntington, West Virginia. David Jefferson from Linwood. 6'5", Marcus Simmons from Louisiana, and 6'7", Leonard Washington from Louisiana. Floyd has always been a great recruiter in his days at Iowa State. I certainly remember the, the talent he brought in there and helped Iowa State. Matter of fact, the only Cyclone coach to host three consecutive 20-win seasons and three consecutive NCAA tournaments, and that's the Trojans' goal this year, to get back to the tournament. It was a plan now. I think uh, that, that, that's going to be in their future for this season if they can continue to, to play as effectively on the road as they have done this weekend. And not just winning a couple games, but to play, they come out and play the way they played in the game. So just putting them away early, making no doubt about this game, not letting them hang around, which is what USC would have probably more, been more prone to do last year. Because I really thought it would be a tougher test than this because they had an emotional victory, last second victory, 84-82, at Mac Court in Oregon. And you go, okay, now you've got to do it again on the road on Saturday, only one day of practice. Yeah, and I agree with you because I, I thought Oregon State, the way they played against UCLA 36-30 at halftime, even though it was a 15-point loss, that they played with a lot of energy. But, you know, we're talking about the upgrade in talent, and it's evidenced by the two guys on the floor right now, in, in Njai and Cromwell. I mean, you know, these guys are starters last year. And now you got a Taj Gibson that you can throw in there, the right Lewis, and you can bring them off the bench, which is more suited for their talent level in the past ten. I mean, they're, they're great role players, spot duty guys coming off the bench. They're not starting centers playing 25, 32, 33 minutes a game. Well, this is one of those nights that Oregon State will want to forget very quickly because uh, they did not play well. They competed with USC for about the first 13, 14 minutes of the game, and then the Trojans went on a 16-0 run to end the first half and continued it over by hitting the first six shots of the second half and are blowing out OSU. And for a team struggling the way this Oregon State team has struggled this year, and recently in particular, I mean, you know, there was a looseness in practice yesterday that uh, you know, I didn't really expect to see. Sasha Truich is, is a guy that uh, they rely upon for a lot of his leadership, and you know, he was suspended two games early in the season because of a poor attitude. So you know, the guys at the top have got to be the guys that to, to, to rally 
this team. And then not to try and, you know, have some finish that's going to be miraculous and get them in the postseason play, but just the respectability. Just so you don't get embarrassed each and every night. Now on the floor, hopefully the future for Oregon State, a freshman from Serbia, Boyan Sibila. And Jack comes over the loose basketball. Ryan Weatherall taking it to the hoop and scoring. There's Ryan Weatherall. Ryan Weatherall. Look at the USC bench. You've got four guys, four or five guys from Gabe Pruitt to Keith Wilkerson to Taj Gibson to Dwayne Lewis standing up and you know waving the towel and doing all that stuff for, for Weatherall on that on that on that made layup. This is great for him because he's going to wind up with about eight minutes of playing time in this game. Weather are looking low for Injai. Hey, why not? Keep going to the glass. He misses the shot, tries to get it back, and a dive for it. Look at Cromwell. We're saying Cromwell. Diving. Weather are on the floor. Ryan Weatherall, a little used player, wearing number 25, going in for his first basket. And USC blowing out OSU.